gods and goddesses, let me guess, someone stole your sweet roll. Well, sorry, but my name's Anuki, and this is Smite Top 5 Plays. This is so much fun! Blue team scattered around the middle lane. Red team sees this as a chance to initiate. Fafnir hops over the wall. Zonkui pull closer. Rafatara only hits Fafnir. Ultimates out from top and Chung out. Very little damage done. Now it's time for blue team to respond. Chung out down. Fortune Box right off the team. Double wolf strike. Chernabog. Sylvanas getting hit twice. No T for the British. Four kills. No casualties. Great teamwork. Keep it coming, folks. You must fight on. Artemis may be about to make a mistake. Dominator NR22 opens up with a stunning shot. Artemis regains control, summons Tusky Dominator up at the end. Nobody wants to be CC'd, so they both use beads. Tusky and the trap block the path. Basics being traded. Artemis retreats. Dominator fires the meteor strikes. Aegis Sanctuary in response blocks the damage. The hunt will continue as Artemis flows through the land. Capri shows up to assist Dominator, but they're outnumbered four to two. Focus still on Artemis. Dominator able to get the kill. Odds are improving. Dominator's found the next target. Pepperfire Agni escapes. Capri gives Ascara's blessing. Dominator is going to dominate themselves in the flames, forcing the resurrection. Agni out of the way. Dominator revives and ricochets. That's all the damage eliminated. There's only one thing left to cut down. That's GG, but it wasn't easy. Let's turn up the heat. Eddie Smurphy, mid lane cop. He sees free, but he ain't gonna stop. He sashes to Discordia, gets in a single swing. They're not feeling threatened by these guys at all. Oozing with confidence and maintains presence, they call his bluff. Eddie Smurphy, wind fire wheels out onto Mercury. That's a kill, but can they still escape? The only help on the ground is minions. They land next to Discordia, move behind the minions. Universal ring toss to the masses, swipes a second time. Maybe these minions ain't so bad after all. Supports have it hard, seeing the team dying first and then having to suffer it themselves. Support life, eh? Don't bring a sword to a gunfight. Mother Earth is here for you. Hi, Alex. I noticed we're rocking double guardian here in Joust. You know what they say, though? The best defense is a defensive offense. As you'd expect, Alex and Kin are fleeing. I mean, what are they going to do, right? Scylla goes for the cutoff. Roots Alex into Ivor Monster. It's only the silence inside from Thanatos that hits, though. Scylla gets burned in return. Kin looking to slow Thanatos and Ulra down. That's just in front. Double body block. I've never seen two body block before. Alex is insane. He's pulling them into the Phoenix. No beads up. These two hit like a truck. Kin, at all costs, is fine for help. They're chasing Thanatos. I think he's going to struggle to evade the raging flames of I'm Alex, even if he uses blue buff monsters. There's no wheedling your way out of this, Thanatos. Death comes by night. Yo-ho-ho. -ho. It's level three. Lemogao and Glacial are pushing it down the lane. Glacial grabs Rama, flings him back. Lemogao is bouncing the bolos off the minions. Rama rolls away. Poseidon from the jungle in for a gank. Glacial is slowed by the whirlpool. Discordia and Rama move forward. Glacial is doing the dance of death. How are they still alive? Lemogao poison marks and has a dance of death of their own. He spins, he flings, he wins. That is a triple kill. Close call. Okay, immortals, submit your play using the link in the description. Any troubles? Come find me on discord.gg and Nuki TV. And don't forget to sub to the channel for your new Water Dancer skin. See you for the next episode of Top 5 Plays.